Yo guys, Daniel here from the Pro Play Games Pro Team. Uh, today I have a Dragon Ball Super deck profile for you. Uh, kind of doing it one-handed, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I am doing a profile on a yellow Frieza deck with a splashed blue. Um, it's not a, it's not a conventional blue splash. It's only eight cards, but they really get the job done more than you would expect. So um, we have. Four Avenging Frieza. Uh, the reason for Avenging Frieza in this deck is you drop it. Uh, you get a plus one by getting any Frieza's army card um, of cost two or less from the top of your deck and putting it in your hand. So if you manage that, you get a plus one. Um, then you get another plus one when you use Frieza's uh, leader ability. You just pop your Avenging Frieza and draw a card and flip one to two of your energy active depending on if you're awake or not. Um, that's a pretty busted combo because you're plussing two off of one card um, and getting a 5,000 combo out of it or an attacker to pop to uh, try and like get rid of a rested Kind Saiyan, Son Goku or something like that. So um, it's, it's a pretty good card. Uh, we have one Sorbet the loyal commander. Um, Sorbet is mostly just because we have Frieza's Call at our disposal, so we're able to search our deck for it. Um, it's a blocker, which is kind of cute, and late game when you're at 4 or less damage, I like to use Sorbet's once per turn ability, um, which says, uh, place one card from your hand in the drop area, look up the two cards from the top of your deck, choose up to two Frieza's armies from among them, uh, place them in your combo area, and discard the other ones. So, um, if you pull off the top two, like, a Dodoria and something else, then you get plus 10,000, you draw a card, and then, you know, whatever the other card is. So, um, I always wait for him until after I'm at four damage or less, so that's why I only want one. And his ability can come in super handy, like, after they use a boost attack Piccolo or something, and their leader's 25 for the rest of the turn, now we're able to get around that. Um, play four Goldo, that should be, uh, that should be the staple number, focus, 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 whatever, everyone knows what Goldo does, um, so, like I was saying earlier, uh, when you have Frieza before you pop him to, uh, plus off of him, uh, it's a 5k attacker, and, uh, with Goldo, it says when you play him, if your leader card is Frieza's army, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with an energy cost of two or less, and switch it to rest mode. So, you can take any guy like Kainsei and Son Goku, uh, the one drop Broly, whatever, um, put them into rest mode, and then swing on them with Frieza. Pop the Frieza, and then your opponent negs one, um, you neg two but you plus two so your opponent negs one and you neg zero pretty much so it's, it's a it's a pretty solid combo i love doing that also in the mirror when you goldo you rest their goldo and you swing with your goldo into their goldo like there's so much stuff you can do with goldo he's a really good card uh... saying kaba resting that card is always great and popping that card so uh... we have four dodoria this is the uh... this is the specific yellow combo card. Uh, every every color has one. It is uh, pretty much just a 4 of staple. Uh, we have 4 birder. Uh, he just says you can switch him to active mode at the end of your turn. It's always great being able to switch a card from rest mode in the active, into active mode. Um, we have 4 raccoon. He says This card gains plus 6,000 power during your opponent's turn. Focus, 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 focus. Alright, so he becomes a 16,000 on your opponent's turn. This is good for assassination plot. This is good for anyone trying to swing into him. They always have to combo pretty much to swing into him. Uh, he's good for, um, like, searching out of your deck with Frieza's Call. You pay one to grab a two drop, and they pretty much can't, can't kill it in the early turn, so you'll always have that, at least that one Ginyu Force there. And uh, that just makes your late game getting you stronger. Uh, four dice. 
that's kind of a staple in this deck, no matter what. I think the only Ginyu that I would want to keep four of, like if I was putting in a second color or whatever, would be Jice, because he grabs another Ginyu off the top of your deck and puts it right into play. So uh, he's a three drop that could grab another three drop, um, or a two drop or whatever, or Goldo, and that's just kind of busted. Um, we have four Mecha Frieza. Uh, Mecha Frieza has dual attack. It says when you play it, um, you can place one card from your hand into your drop area. Uh, if you do, choose up to two of your opponent's rest mode battle cards and KO them. And then if you do that, you get double strike. So your opponent has a big turn, you survive it. Uh, they tap two of their big attacking monsters or attacking battle cards. And then you go uh, drop Frieza on them, pop two of their guys, you have double strike. Uh, swing, swing on their leader. Uh, they have to burn cards, and then, you know, whatever. You could just get a big turn off of that. Uh, we have two Ginyu. Um, I know people are testing out three Ginyu. Some people even are playing four Ginyu, but I think two's all you ever need because in this deck where you have Jice, Avenging Frieza, um... You have Sorbet. You really don't want to be hitting Ginyu off those cards because it's just a dead card. And in Sorbet's case, it's like you're just negging your your six drop. You're you're discarding your six drop, and that's never fun. So um, I like keeping Ginyu at six. Uh, I would put a third, maybe in the sideboard in case for some reason you need it uh, late game or game two. I mean against like a certain matchup, but I don't really see a matchup that he shines in. He's pretty much just a card for every matchup. Uh, two for Furthering Destruction Champa, um, that's our last pretty much battle card, um, he just gives you double strike when you combo with him, um, until the end of battle, I like that, uh, I like that he gives double strike to Mecha Frieza, um, with, with dual attack, so, uh, let's say you swing with Mecha Frieza on their leader, uh, with double strike the turn prior, now you can do it again, it's only for one attack, but... That's still three double strike swings in, you know, two turns, pretty much. And that can be really devastating. Uh, when paired with Ginyu, um, giving a card that isn't a Ginyu Force card double strike is really good. And, you know, uh, timing your Furthering Destruction Champa's right can be devastating. Uh, we have two Bad Ring Lasers. Um, this card just counters a counter. Uh, busted card. Um, I think it's, it's pretty broken, but it's just like, you know... People only play four counters for the most part, so why would you play more than two of a counter counter? Because it's kind of hard for them to have the counter, and and it's hard for you to have this when you want it. Plus, it's just a dead card, so we only play two. Uh, three Cold Bloodlust, busted card. Says, if your leader card is, is Frieza's army, um, the battle card played has its skill negated for the duration of the turn. So when they play a battle card... Um, let's say, for example, your opponent's playing a Ginyu down, and they want to give all their Ginyus double strike and plus 10k. You just go Cold Bloodlust, your Ginyus of a 6-drop vanilla for the turn. And when it's cards with a uh, with an auto on drop, they just become a vanilla. They will never have an ability. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, let's see. We have four Frieza's Call. Frieza's Call is just a staple. It searches out your Frieza's Army cards of energy cost two or less. Um, what did I do? Oh. Alright, and now um, our, our eight splashed blue cards. We have four Senzu Bean. Senzu Bean just says uh, you can activate it during any battle. It says choose up to one of your cards. It gains plus 5k power for the duration of the turn. And choose up the two of your energy and switch them to active mode. So this card has like multiple uses. So first of all, our Frieza leader card says um, when we uh, when we take one of our uh, Frieza's army battle cards off of the field and put it in the drop area, we can activate two energy, the awakened version of the Frieza's leader card. And Senzu Bean says uh, activate two of your energy. So, you can drop a Ginyu with, like, 7 energy in play, and then use Senzu Bean with the 7th energy, open up 2 energies, and then use Frieza skill, open up 2 energies, and then get Ginyu and Mega Frieza in the same turn. Like, you can, uh, 
you can like hard play Raccoon and Birder, which is kind of a bad thing to do, hard playing them. But the good thing about it is uh, you can hard play them, Senzu Bean, and then not worry about hard playing them because you can still play something else early. Um, Senzu Bean is just a great card because giving Mecha Frieza 20k and it having two attacks is really nice. Um, it just it's just a multiple use card. Uh, I found a lot of uses out of it. It it it's sometimes it feels like a chore getting it going, but it's it's ne it's never really that bad. You know, it's uh, the the good parts of it outweigh the bad parts, and um, I think it's worth just a an eight you know an eight blue uh, commitment just to have it. And then we have four uh, Weiss. Uh, this card is just your normal negate, then uh, choose up 20 your energy, switch it to active mode. So uh, we don't really have a negate in yellow. Um, we have Crusher Ball, and I think that card sucks. Um, like, resting their card is cool and all because you have Mecha Frieza, but that's, you know, that's going to be late game, and that's kind of when I just want to use Cold Bloodlust because they're going to have broken abilities like Energy Boost, Beerus, Spot Removal, and stuff. So I don't really like Crusher Ball. Um, it, I think, I think these eight blue cards, uh, work together pretty well, uh, I'd rather have the Whis counter than, than Crusher Ball, um, I don't really want any other blue, I tested Objections, I tested, uh, Ultimate Judgment Jocko, I tested, uh, Energy Boosted Majin Buu, um, all these different, you know, I tested Kai's, just so you could be like, oh, I have so many blockers, blah, 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 you can't get through me, I can last till turn 7, and then I could drop a big, I could drop a big Ginyu, uh, open up all my energies, drop a Frieza, like, you know, key turns like that, but honestly, uh, this is all you need, it makes your deck a little bit more aggressive, and it gives you a little bit more longevity with it, um, which is kind of like the name of the game for uh, the Ginyu deck, the Frieza leader deck, and yeah, so, that's the list, clear, clear. That's the list. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is my first deck profile for Dragon Ball Super. Usually I'm a Pokemon player. Um, but I want to get into this game because it's that fun. So, alright guys. Uh, there is a tournament this Saturday at Pro Play Games. A box tournament. Uh, hope to see you guys there. And have a good one.